What's up everybody, Cigar Sherpa Laird Mayhew back with another cigar review and today I've got the Viaje Zombie Antidote in Lonsdale. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back to another installment here at Cigar Sherpa. I, of course, am your host, Laird Mayhew. And if this is your first time here, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. If you're not familiar, there's a little bell down there that's going to tell you whenever we post a review. And if it's not your first time here, well, then welcome back. As always, it is good to see you. All right. So as my intro said, today I've got a, uh, it's a gimmick, I guess. It's a gimmicky cigar. Uh... I've seen it in the past. I have never got my hands on it before. I've just kind of seen it, you know, advertised. It's from Viaje. It's the Zombie Antidote. Okay. It, it's got like a syringe type, you know, um, label. It comes in a plastic jar that like syringes would come in. So it's the Zombie Antidote. I've seen them going back all the way to 2017. I don't know if they were prior, uh, made prior or released prior to that. I didn't look it up, but I was not living in the United States at the time, so... I'm not familiar. One of the things about Viaje cigars is just about all of them, they don't tell you anything about them. Um, I, Nicaragua, wrapper, binder, filler, maybe. I mean, that's about all they tell you. It's got a big old band on it, so can't really see much of the wrapper. It's got a very pungent smell, though. It smells really good. It smells like a very, like a, like a hay and... Like some manure, like like a barnyard manure, but more on the manure side. But like, like a, the initial smell is like a hay bite, right to it. Um, so it's kind of, it's a Lonsdale. So it's a it's a six by two six point two four by forty four ring gauge. Really like a forty four ring gauge. Forty four to fifty is about probably perfect. Maybe fifty two, but getting over fifty two, you know, you kind of lose me. It's got like a what do you call the fluted tip there. Oh, not a Presidente. Not quite a Perfecto, but I guess you could call that like a Lonsdale Perfecto, uh, the way the tip is right there. Um, construction is very, 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 very nice. Okay, it's got a triple cap that is put on there like perfect as you spin around. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but as you spin it around, perfect cut. Um, no seams, so I mean, of course there's seams, but you can't, you know, you, you can't see them. It's got a nice like uh, like a dark milk chocolate wrapper on it. It's got a slight oil sheen and just very very slightly toothy. Okay, you really I I, I can't see it in the camera, but uh, you can feel it. Very good. I'm gonna give this thing a cut. I'm gonna use my guillotine mainly because it's the only thing that I have. I have spent the weekend. You might notice a little bit of an echo inside of here. I uh, I spent the weekend walling in my lounge studio i got about 100 square feet now uh, but all i had to do i had this wall and then i had this wall here uh to my right i went ahead and I, I extended the wall out about 12 feet going that way and then 10 feet going that way so i got two walls in they're insulated one's not finished but i got to get some more uh i don't know what you call it studio foam or whatever kind of takes the uh echo out so you might hear a little bit of an echo tonight if you do i'm sorry but i wanted to smoke this cigar and i wanted to review it so cutting the light and i'll come back and tell you what think about it stay tuned all right all right all right whoa shit ah sorry about that um so right away i got blasted with black pepper in the sinuses and it's pretty strong maybe i should have let that kind of build up a little bit because that wrapper is um pretty peppery whatever it is. So right away, I'm getting black pepper. Mm, that's strong. I tell you what, it, it really, really does pack a punch, this little thing. And you'll find that a lot of times you think that the uh, smaller ring gauge cigars are going to be, you know, the, you would think to a novice, you would think, um, or a novice would think that the bigger the ring gauge, the stronger the cigar. It's not the case. Uh, when you start getting into these smaller ring gauges, you get a lot more of that wrapper flavor on there. They get a little bit more punch to them, a little more kick. So um, this one's got like a woody taste right off the bat. I don't know if it's cedar or not. It is. There's black pepper on the palate, the black pepper in the retrohale. Mm. 
wooden black pepper. Oh, a little bit of sweetness there. Ooh, almost a little creaminess too coming in. Let me uh, develop, let this thing develop and uh, come back and tell you what I think about it from there. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. We are well into the first third. And let me tell you something. This thing is surprising. It looks like a gimmick. It is a gimmick. but I, And I grabbed it because of that, but I had no idea it was going to be... Well, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is. And I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I am. It's very strong. I mean, I'm getting... Um, black pepper is now like encroaching to the back of my throat. Almost I'm like I'm about to hiccup, okay? Um, it's in the... The retro hell. There's a slight cinnamon in the retro hell as well. Um, the main flavors that I'm getting are like a very, I'd say a good sweet cedar, creamy smoke, and there's a hint of vanilla on this thing too. I mean, it's really good. It's kind of bready as well. So I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm going to have to go drink some water and get rid of these hiccups that are about to come on. I'm going to bring it into the second, third, and come back and tell you what I think about it from there. Stay tuned. Oops, see? All right, all right. We are in the second third, about the halfway point of the cigar. The thing is smoking beautiful. The draw is perfect. Uh, you know, burn line's not razor sharp, but nothing to complain about. Um, so far, not a whole lot of changes in this cigar going into the second third. It, it is strong. I would say it's about medium plus strength, um, medium plus body, and medium flavor. The flavors that I'm getting are very good. I mean, they're very, it's just, it's still that cinnamon, um, which cinnamon, I shouldn't have said that. That's on the, on, on the background. The forefront flavors are cedar, pepper, with hints of cinnamon and um, some vanilla. The vanilla kind of comes and goes because it's like a sweet cedar. There's a sweetness, a natural like tobacco sweetness. It kind of reminds me of an Ecuadorian Habano cigar. That's what I would have. That was what I would guess if I didn't. If I didn't know, because I don't know, because they don't tell you what wrapper this is. But if I had to guess, and I was smoking it blind, I would say it's an Ecuadorian Habano and Nicaraguan cigar. Um, it's very familiar. It's nothing special about it. There's no uniqueness about it. It's just a very good cigar. If I wasn't going to give it any flavor nuance, I would just say spicy tobacco, spicy sweet tobacco, and very smooth. It is got a very smooth, creamy texture to it. So. That's about all I can say about it. Uh, I mean, besides the fact that it's just, I'm enjoying it and I wish it, I had more to go. So. There's kind of like a, coming in now, it's kind of like a coffee, but like a nutty coffee. Like a nuttiness, I like like it's kind of nutty and then it's like coffee. So I would just say like a nutty coffee because you know, there's almost like that, uh, like a chicory coffee that you get in Louisiana. I don't know the name of the brand, but I love the stuff. It's a little like beige pink can. And it's like a chicory coffee mix. Maybe I should look that up because that's some good stuff. Y'all should try that. So, All right. I'm going to bring it into the final third and come back and tell you what I think about it. Stay tuned. All right. All right. All right. We are in the final third. And I got to say... Go out and get one of these sticks. Get a couple of them. I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's not a very, um, not very complex. Very good flavors. Uh, very consistent all the way through. Here in the final third, I'm getting more of that nutty coffee. The cinnamon's kind of gone away. The sweetness has kind of subsided a little bit. But you know, small rain gauge is getting small, or getting short, and the um, the smoke's getting a little hot. So the flavor starts to kind of turn a little bit. I'm trying to take it easy on the stick. But this is the uh, the zombie antidote. Uh, first time with it. And uh, like I said, and you know, they released the um, the fat jalapeno purple. Okay, you see, I did a review last year on the fat jalapeno earlier last month or so. I did the, uh, the fat Carolina Reaper. And I went ahead and I, I, I grabbed the, um, the purple fat jalapeno. And it's a, it's a, it's, it's not a re-release. It, it's just, it's a new blend and it was, it was nice. It was nice. Uh, it's a lot better than the Carolina Reaper. I can tell you that, but, uh, this zombie antidote, I'm really digging it. Like I said, if I had to guess, it's probably got an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper on it. But from what I know of the Aje, it's typically just Nicaraguan straight through and they just don't even tell you anything about it. So there you go. If you follow my Instagram, you'll, st you, 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 st you notice in a kind of a shift in my, um, cigar palette, I guess you would call it. 
Typically, I'm not a big Drew Estates fan. And uh, so I bought a five-pack sampler, mainly because it came with a raffle ticket to win like this dartboard. And, you know, this hat right here, kind of cool. I don't know, it kind of caught my eye. That's a pretty cool hat. And I'm not really into the whole, I don't really wear flat bill hats or anything like that. I just thought it was nice. So, you know, for 65 bucks, I got like seven cigars. I got a pretty cool hat and I'm in the running for a pretty kick-ass uh, dartboard. But uh, man, the his, the Herrera Esteli, um, what did I smoke? I don't know. I took pictures of it. Though. But the one I smoked last night off camera, you know, no review. I think I might have taken a picture of it while I was working out here in my studio slash lounge was the, uh, where is it? Did I throw the thing away? Let's see here. This one here, the it just says Toro. I don't know. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so far, I'm, like I said, everybody's always league of this and league of that, and I'm just not a big fan of those, but the Herrera Esteli line, the two that I've smoked so far, I'm really digging it. So anyway, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Like I said, uh, I still got some work to do in here. Hopefully I can knock out some of this echo. I don't know how it's going to come through until I go to edit everything and get my sound back. Got a little new addition to the studio here, thanks to my wife. Um... Who is that? It's Carlito. Carlito Fuente, little bobblehead there. I thought that was kind of cool, man. Adds a nice little addition to the studio. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm going to go ahead and watch uh, old Lee Mac here. He's doing the Lat Clear Surrogates Crystal Baller. And it's a cigar that I smoked that I liked. I don't know. It was years ago since I smoked it. I haven't seen that thing around in a while. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Cigar Sherpa Laird Mayhew reminding you to be polite to everybody that you meet. But always have a backup plan in case things go south. And I'm out.